Hey, hello there. So today I'm looking at uh, two binary search question. The first one is 852 peak indexing uh, mountain array. The second one is uh, 162 find peak element. So let's look at the first one. Uh, we have an array in of integers uh, we call A, and uh, it can be called as a mountain array if the following property holds. It has to have at least three elements. The second thing is uh, the elements in this array uh, has to be uh, strictly increasing from the beginning towards some middle random elements and after that turning point uh, element it will become strictly decreasing so you're looking like a pointing kind of shape uh, towards uh, uh, towards the um, uh, points points up uh, pointing shape points to up so it's it's a peak yeah it's a mountain peak so uh, so the question give us a, a, a array that's definitely a mountain uh, we want to return the point for that. So um, just visualize this uh, array. Uh, let's just put uh, some random number here. Um, you will look like uh, uh, something like this. It will be uh, strictly increasing uh, towards until a certain index, then it becomes strictly decreasing. So the our job is to find the location for this turning point. Um, which we can find its uh, uh, index. Uh, the, the i will be three. So uh, that that's what this question is asking. So obviously we can just uh, enumerate over the array, and uh, whenever we're looking at uh, a element, we check the left and check the right. If uh, the element is larger than both sides, then it's the peak that we are looking for. That that algorithm will take linear time, um, but it's. Um, uh, it's uh, it's not the optimal because uh, we do find there is a, a quite nice property here. So for if we compare the adjacent two elements in this array, uh, their relationship is uh, is this less than sign in the beginning until this turning point. Uh, including this turning point on the right hand side it will be uh, all less than sign from the beginning towards here and after that uh, this relationship turns to right hand uh, greater than um, it, it's this greater sign until the rear end so uh, a little bit formally if we define the function to be fi which is the um, ai is larger than uh, ai plus one um, and uh, if we just convert this to integers, a uh, boolean value into uh, integers, and apply this function on this uh, index values, uh, it will be 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. So uh, we know that uh, the fi here, uh, when we apply that to, onto a sequence uh, of uh, index numbers, the result is actually a sorted sequence. So we can find the i that we want uh, based on the fi as uh, the direction to reduce number uh, search space using binary search. So the code is as follows. Uh, initially, now our search space is this lower bound and upper bound, uh, which is the, the entire array. Then uh, we have our loop, which is uh, while we uh, the search space contain more than one element, so they are not touching each other to ping two points to the same element. Uh, the same turning point. If, if that's not happening yet, we want to reduce the search space. Uh, we do so by first calculating this middle value, uh, which is uh, this, and then just uh, uh, use this, use this uh, comparison to give us direction. So if uh, this m value, middle value, is actually larger than the uh, m plus 1, that means we are in the uh, right-hand side kind of uh, territory. Uh, we could be here, uh, or we can be looking at uh, some pairs up here. Uh, then, then the thing that we can do is to lower our upper bound to be m, because m itself could be a... Um, you know the the turning point so we don't want to be overshoot so we we don't in, uh, reduce h to be the upper bound to be m plus one uh, i minus one so we only set it to m that's because m is possibly the peak uh, otherwise we would just uh, increase the lower bound to be m plus one uh, because that uh, uh, m since it's a uh, 
if, it, if it's in the else condition, then it's on the left hand side. M is definitely, uh, it could be like a zero here. So it's definitely not the peak. One could potentially be, we don't know. Uh, so let's just uh, only increase that to be M plus one. So in the end, the low and high will point to the same number. So we can return either one of those, it will work. Uh, so the time complexity using binary search will be uh, log n, where n is the number of elements in A and the uh, space is constant. So that's uh, applying binary search to find the peak index in Montanary. Uh, then this, the second question here is to find peak element in an arbitrary kind of shape uh, array. Uh, so what this question is asking is uh, we need to find a peak, uh, any kind of peak in a random array and return its index. Um, so here it says the array may contain multiple peaks. In this case, return the index to any one of the peak is fine. So if it's asking about the, the highest peak, then this question, uh, I guess we couldn't apply binary search anymore. But but since that we are only asking for just one peak, uh, we can actually just copy the code and paste it over. It will just work. I will explain the reason uh, a little bit. So just rename the argument. That's shorter than rename the A's here. Uh, so it will it will just work. Uh, the reason for that is um, this indeed give us uh, the right direction. So so if uh, just looking at uh, this uh, condition here, if the nth element in this array arbitrary shape array with multiple peaks uh, is larger than uh, a n plus one, then we are sure. Uh, in the left hand, uh, left half of the lower half of the search space, there is at least one peak. So uh, as long as there is at least one peak, we can safely reduce the search space into there because this condition, if and else, is always going to be able to give us a direction to find at least one peak. So as long as the search space have contains a peak. Uh, we can safely disregard of the uh, the the other half. So. Uh, this condition is uh, should just work. We can, as long as the the lower half uh, of the search space contains a peak, uh, we can just uh, uh, disregard the, the upper upper half. And the the, the for the contrary uh, for the the other direction is the same, um, since that M is not uh, a a candidate for the it's not possible a peak value. Uh, we definitely gonna have a peak value in the upper upper half, so that's why we can um, uh, j just uh, increase, uh, you know, ch chop off uh, chop off the uh, lower half of the search space in this else else condition. So no notice that um, um, in the end, ultimately end, uh, we might not actually find the um, the peak value that. Uh, that's closest to this uh, n value. We might find some other peak, uh, but it doesn't matter. So uh, that's just uh, the rationale why the this find a peak in the mountain array code actually works on this arbitrary kind of shape uh, array. Uh, as long as that we don't specify which peak we want, um, we can just uh, use this binary search. Uh, the, the reason is just uh, as long as there is one peak in the search space, we can we can just use this uh, binary search. Uh, so uh, so that's the uh, very crude uh, explanation about this. Um, I guess we could also talk about the, the uh, base case, which will be just the three elements, uh, and and kind of explain why this works. Um, but uh, I, I don't think that's too necessary. Uh, as long as we realize um, it, this gives us the right direction and that we can safely reduce the search space, then we can uh, justify that uh, the, the, the old binary search code can just work here. So that's for this question. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for today.